everybody, welcome to Sama, Seattle Circuit Music and Art. We're in Seattle, hence the name. My name is Derek Mazzoni. Thanks for being here. Hope you're doing okay. I hope you're surviving. Um, we're still in the pandemic. Um, it's been a fascinating time, obviously, to say the least. And it's also been really interesting because through this program, I've been able to connect with people all over the world, be able to share their music, their stories, their ideas today or tonight, wherever you may be. Uh, from Kiev, Ukraine, Dark Daughters. And uh, they have a new record out, just came out last week, called Makeup. And um, I'm going to play you um, a video from that, and then we're going to meet the band. And... No more be grieved at that which has done. Roses have thorns and silver fountains mud. Clouds and eclipses stain both moon and sun. And lonesome can carelessness with this bud. No more be grieved at that which has done. Roses have thorns and silver fountains mud. Clouds and eclipses stain both moon and sun. And lonesome can carelessness with fantastic dreams. That was awesome, to say the least. Hey, Talk Daughters. Hello, Hello world. Thanks for being there, here. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> Thank you um, for inviting us. Thanks. That was interesting because that was a obviously a online performance. And we're going to be playing something from a live performance. But I wanted to just say, well done. That You, you pulled that off so well. Like the... The energy that uh, one can find in your live performance is there, you know, just on these screens. Um, and I'm curious because this is coming up as part of a conversation with a lot of artists. Is like, what the hell am I doing here right now? Like, you know, I'm used to having an audience. I'm used to having a theater, you know, a mm -hmm. stage. Um, what can you talk a little bit about? Like, what was the mindset um, with that? Oh, first of all, let me be right. This is Anna, Roslana, Tanya, and Zo. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. The world says hi. So tell me, like, you know, what, what, what was the, what was the thing in your head? Where I was like, okay, we're gonna do this with just cameras watching. But you're actresses, so it's not that hard. You're on set, but it was more. I don't know. Tell me. Talk to me. Uh, it all started with uh, we made this uh, new show, makeup. Mm -hmm. Like uh, also the um, the basis of this new album, which we released. And I'm uh, just recently before the quarantine started. And then when it started, we decided, uh, Vlad, our art director and our director, he decided to try something new in the digital world. So we tried to, we started to do little uh, digital degustation. Yeah, like it was called the degustation of the literature. Books. It mm -hmm. was like the pieces of different books and poetry in very beautiful artistic um I don't know, the direction, way. yeah. So, and we started training ourselves for the digital performing like this. And then uh, we had also this very cool proposition from a German theatrical festival about this art, digital, theatrical, musical mm -hmm. collaboration. Uh, and we decided all together that is going to be this new show, the makeup. So we rented a, a cool space in Kyiv uh, with all those cameras and, and, and sound and all the technical parts and uh, just rehearsed it and uh, Vlad just uh, did some direction, like digital direction this time and it all worked out. And it was like so fun because it was like a big job, big project after the big break, you know, during yeah. the quarantine. Yeah. So like, super happy. Music scene in Ukraine is it's 
it's really good. You know, the the stuff that a prize sent me was like, I had no idea that there was like such breadth and depth. Because most people in the West, um, when they think of Ukraine, they think of like, you know, the scandals, the, the, the revolutions, all the things that are going. Obviously, with the last administration here, Ukraine came up a lot in people's minds. So suddenly this country and your identity is now part of a global conversation. You've got this comedian as prime minister, like, what the hell is happening here? And then you've got this, but you're artists, so you're, you're presenting, um, you know, the, the depth, the complexity of your country beyond borders. You're presenting the history. Like when I was going deeper into, into uh, the music and your story and everything, there's this, there are ancient poets, like ancient, but like, you know, Ivan Franco and others. It's like, wait, there's like, there's this, this story here of, of uh, claiming space, I like to call it. It's like, we we have a language we have a culture yes our neighbors are difficult and yes they swallowed us you know as you know i'm polish and for hundreds of years poland wasn't a country it was part of russia or austria hungary so it's interesting when you're like part of a a story that goes you know from nothing to big to small again it, it kind of screws with your head a little bit but it's also the human story of course the story of ukraine is very interesting if, with that, just the same as the story of Poland, probably, uh, that uh, it was a beautiful country which often was like um, situated between two big empires, like Russian Empire from one side and Austro-Hungarian or Polish Empire from the other yeah. side. And uh, we even have the period in our history which is called like the ruins, really the ruins, when Ukraine was like split in two parts where the big river Dnipro goes and like the eastern part came to Russian Empire and then the western came to Austro-Hungarian and Polish Empire. But uh, so, yeah, so this is very um, important uh, quest and a sense of Ukrainian art, artistic creation of all times and also social movement, the, uh, the search of the freedom, the fight for this freedom and and um, yeah, and we're going through and through this, but it's like one of yeah. the most important things in in the world let's go into the music right now because yeah. uh, uh, the new record just came out makeup and it's lovely and i want to now play this is from an online performance this is doc daughters on sama <laughs> about that song it's the cover song of the new album which is called makeup and mm -hmm. uh, the same name has the theatrical performance and um it's about uh you know the the spirit the spirit of this uh of, of these works this album and this theatrical show um uh, it, it's it's hard to to uh, if you will try to like translate the text you will see that like <laughs> they are just little jokes or they don't have any sense at all or they have like very very strange fun sense but uh, the main thing it's which like is universally globally understood uh, about this artwork that it's the, 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 the spirit of this of this uh, creation that is going to be like very uh, theatrical very grotesque somewhere but maybe very intimate somewhere else and uh, very like uh, big and very expressive it's like very expressionistic theater musical theater something okay. like that. and one of the main idea of the performance makeup it is like uh, all the show it is our backstage 
We are girls, they just joke, have fun, sometimes sad stories, sometimes fun, 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 funny stories. And then the Habracha start to play mm -hmm. a new song from album Alambari. Mm -hmm. We start to make up of Dark Daughters. And we start to play Roses. It's like the beginning of the show, but at least it's the end. Okay. I think it's also, I want to go to the next one, but I just want to kind of like seed this for, with you guys for a little bit. Um, let's take Brazil as an example. Brazil has oh. been a country for a long time, but it didn't, nobody really knew anything about Brazil until soccer, Pele and others, but music. Music yeah. really became the card for Brazil. And then yeah. now you have a Brazilian artist playing somewhere. I know nothing about Ukraine. Uh, maybe dumplings um but this music is want is opening my heart and want and want me to go find that out so let's talk more about that a little bit but right now i want to play uh something up the new record makeup this is uh Gala. що ви самотні і десь далеко плачете Okay. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Often in this kind of situation, either you have large companies come in and pay artists, but that gets kind of funky. Is there support from the government? You know, we just saw that video that there was the Ukraine export um, organization or institution. Is there support for you when you're when you will go out and play? And is there financial logistical support for you to to share your work before the revolution of dignity mm. <laughs> here is in ukraine it was very hard with this stuff you know only government i don't know relationships between different countries china and ukraine some ensemble from ukraine go to china something like that you know? mm -hmm. uh, but now we have like ukrainian uh, foundation that uh, gives money uh, for different projects and uh, this is really really big specter of uh, propositions you okay know? so let's go to the next song this is great and thank you for sharing um thank you. Know, I, really, I really appreciate that so i'm gonna play i want and this is from the uh the digital show because i i as i was looking at it, i was like i want to showcase um how this is even evolving beyond the stage. I want. 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 Я хочу, може, час того життя. I want. Горіть палаць, а стати почуття. I want. Я хочу. I want. Я хочу ідей нових, пісень нових, пісень нових. I want. Я хочу, може, час. I want. Років нових. I want. Я хочу, хочу, хочу. I want. Я хочу, хочу, хочу. I want.
that song. And you yes. were in here. There. Your mom. Uh, <laughs> it like, transcends writing about it or even just creating cinema. There's just an intimacy in that. And that being conveyed in that video really spoke to me and sp spoke to, to especially women that I've showed videos too. It's just like, this is really strong work. This really, there's, there's a complexity to that message. If you might, if, if you understand what I mean, they're like that, that, um, that can only be translated in that kind of setting where it's just artists to audience as close as possible for them to get it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And probably also you mean this, like this power, right? The, the yeah. big power, the expression, which is like so big and so close. You know, it's the point that we, we want to, to share with the man, this energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that line, I want to choose the loneliest island on the map. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Yes, that's right. It's because what you were saying that because like for a moment for now, there is a lot of maybe not so much, but there are some stereotypes and cliche about Ukraine, which are sometimes not so uh, cool, you know. No, they suck. They're 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 yeah. perfect. Yeah, okay, they're just yeah, like, be frank. It's just like, like you know, no, what the no, fuck no, are you talking no, about? No. Like we are trying to in our uh, artistic experience, our creation. Mm -hmm. Uh, all of our music and the performances, it reflects it all. It's like the truthful history of Ukraine, of the ancient times and the modern times, what we're going uh, through right now. Uh, it always is, uh, you know, reflected in our, in our music, in our shows. We're those kind of artists who are, we don't do anything like on purpose just because it's cool or I don't know, epitaph or something like this to do it in the moment because it would be like sharp. But um, some very meaningful and big and important questions of our nation, country, world, time, history, the events which are happening, we are reflecting, we're putting them into the art and, and to share it with, with the people of yeah. the world. And succeeding. It's good work and it's, and it's, uh so good that it translates language, culture, background, etc. So as artists, bravo, you're succeeding. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me, let's go now to um, 36. And tell me about the song first, if you can. Yeah, uh, it's a short, uh, uh, this is the story of one of us, Natalka Dida. It's the story that she had 36 years old when she first time talked with her mother and it was in Paris, some sunrise, uh, when we were in Tour de France. Okay, perfect. That's beautiful work. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Mamma. 